The 2016 Rio Olympics are in full force here, and while we don't usually like to talk about sports because we like to stay inside, let's talk about 10 video game characters who would win an Olympic gold medal. Starting off with number 10, we have Tracer. Tracer would dominate at the 100 meter women's foot race because have you ever seen Tracer move across a map? Obviously, she has time warping abilities and the ability to dash across a map instantly, automatically making her the fastest person alive, much faster than even Usain Bolt. I mean, maybe she'd be disqualified for performance enhancing technology, but hey, there are no rules in video game land, right? And at number nine, you know who would probably win the marathon race by a mile? Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, everybody's favorite internet punching bag is still one of the fastest things around. And I think we gotta show him some love here. Sure, he hasn't had a very good game in a while, but that doesn't mean he's any slower. And the fact that he doesn't even deal with a stamina bar or anything, he can just run ultra fast forever, kind of makes it an unfair competition. And at number eight for shooting and marksmanship events, I had a hard time deciding just who the right sniper would be because there are so many perfect video game snipers. So I'm taking the easy way out and picking the most recent and best sniper. And that is Quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5. Sure, she's super hot or whatever, but she's easily the best companion in the field and she can shoot the helmet off of a guard from like a mile away. She's deadly accurate and lethal and she's so focused and determined that she barely says anything. And I gotta say, that's the attitude of a winner. Look at that face. Sure, she does have some superhuman abilities that could make things a little unfair in competition, but she's so good, she's so accurate. Do you remember when she could spot the individual blades spinning on a helicopter and she was able to shoot between the blades? That shit is insane. And at number seven, I think Kratos would win a weightlifting competition. Now bear with me, okay, Kratos may not be the biggest, most muscle-bound, strongest man alive, but just think about all the things he's done. He's been able to take down gods, he's been able to push away the hand of a giant mountainous titan, and he even beat Hercules in direct competition. I mean, if you could beat Hercules, I'm pretty sure you're probably one of the strongest people of all time. Plus how hard he pulls on those crates, you know the crates that have the ability or health orbs? He pulls open those things so hard and strains it seems like he's doing a deadlift every single time. So if anything, maybe he's just practicing for the next Olympics. No word yet on whether or not the newer, older Kratos is as strong, but I think it's easy to assume that he hasn't lost any of his strength. And at number six, Geralt of Rivia would probably dominate any fencing competition. He's known as one of the greatest swordsmen alive not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia, the best swordsman the North has ever seen. I mean, sure to us, it's really easy. You just hold L2 and mash the square button a bunch of times and he does some spinny swings and tricks. But just think of the determination you need, the amount of training to achieve that level of skill to be able to best any animal or human in sword combat. I think Geralt also has the upper hand in terms of the competition just because of his sheer confidence. He has faith in his abilities, he knows exactly what he can accomplish, and he can drink a bunch of gross poisons and not throw up. And yes, once again, he is another person that has superhuman abilities, and I gotta say, let's just disregard that whole thing. Let's just keep it going. Whether you have powers or abilities or performance enhancing anything or not, you're in. Whatever, it's video games. And at number five, I'm sure there's at least one person out there asking themselves, who would win the equestrian competitions? If you're like me, you had to Google equestrian and learn that that's horse racing shit. And I think the person perfect for that competition is none other than Red Dead Redemption's John Marston. I say that because he's probably got the least crappy horse mechanics in a game. You know, with stuff like Skyrim and The Witcher, the horses being complete messes, at least John Marston can get around pretty quickly and pretty accurately on a horse. Not to mention the amount of time he spent on a horse in Red Dead Redemption. I think he takes the case for the video game character that's probably spent the most time on a horse in a game. So for that, he probably has the most riding experience. I mean, probably next to Barbie Horse Adventure. But we didn't want to put that on the list because you guys would get mad. And at number four for Olympic boxing, we're putting our money on Little Mac. Yes, Little Mac has had a long and storied career starting off way back when with Mike Tyson's punch out. As a young up and comer, he stared down the face of competition and easily knocked down dozens of opponents twice his size. No matter the challenge, Little Mac has pretty much rise to the occasion. Not only that, but he's come out of retirement for Super Smash Brothers and is faced down with some pretty legendary heroes and has been able to hold his own. He may not be the best Smash character, but he could definitely whoop some ass. And I think it's definitely worth mentioning that way back during Mike Tyson's punch out, he punched Mike Tyson so hard, he made Mike Tyson go crazy. 
And at number three for Olympic gymnastics, who do you think would take the gold? I think none other than Lara Croft. I'm not talking about the new Lara Croft, and I'm not talking about Angelina Jolie. I'm talking about the original Lara Croft Tomb Raider. She has a gymnastic training course in the middle of her mansion. Do you remember those games that if you climbed up on a ledge and you hold L1 and R1, she would do that climbing handstand thing? That's probably one of the biggest feats of gymnastics I've ever even seen. Can anyone even do that in real life? She's basically an all-around perfect athlete. She could do flips like that, rolls, back flips, swan dives perfectly, and in those newer Tomb Raider games like Tomb Raider Legend, mashing the circle button would let her do a bunch of cartwheels and round offs. Right there, in the middle of the jungle, in the middle of action, she's easily pulling off gymnastic routines better than the legendary Allie Raisman or Gabby Douglas. And I think that's worth mentioning that Lara Croft is the most badass. And at number two for the Olympic long jump and high jump and all that stuff, you know what? Let's give a medal and some commendation to Mario of all people. Sure, he may look a little schlubby and stupid, but give this guy enough room for three hops and that third hop, he will go sky high and beat any record that anyone has ever set. If you think about it, he's been running and jumping over stuff long before any current Olympic athletes have even been born. He is the original platform jumper, the one that started it all, so we're giving him some props. And at number one, the person that would win all the Olympic gold medals is Nathan Drake. Sure, he would easily, easily win a climbing competition. Uh, climbing isn't currently an Olympic competition, but it will be introduced in the 2020 Olympics. But seriously, he could basically do anything. He can fall from far heights. He can run and jump and grab and climb without even breaking a sweat, not to mention hanging and climbing for hours on end. The dude has a grip of steel with incredible endurance, and he's seemingly invincible. He can climb like a monkey with no support doesn't need gloves, no chalking his hands, no harnesses. Nathan Drake is a beast, and if you think about it, he is just an all-around perfect Olympic athlete. Where does he find time to do all that training? Because I feel like when he's not adventuring, he's kind of just sitting around drinking beer or reading history books. But hey, maybe you just chalk it up to natural ability. Either way, we're betting all our money that Drake would win all the gold. So guys, those are 10 video game characters who would definitely win an Olympic gold medal. There are a ton more video game characters that are definitely up for the job. We picked our favorites, and we want to know which ones you guys think would win in the comments below. So let us know in the comments anything you feel about video games and the Olympics and all that stuff. And you guys know clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we really appreciate it. But subscribing is a great idea if you're new because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.